Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to design a book cover that we could then cut out on the laser cutter. Uh, our book cover is going to be 10 centimeters wide by 15 centimeters high. For that, when we set up our new project, we need to uh, set up a working space that is bigger than that with plenty of room to spare. I'm going to go for an A3 size. I'm going to see that it's in uh, landscape format to allow for the front and the back cover. I'm going to see that it is in centimetres rather than millimetres and it's going to be an RGB mode. That gives us our nice piece of paper. We're going to have a front cover, a spine and a back cover. The spine we want to have um, a number of other small lines that are going to allow it to be bent so we're going to do a series of score lines down the middle to allow that so there's various ways to go about this uh, this is certainly not probably not the best way but it's what I'm going to attempt to do so if we uh, for instance have a book cover that is 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters that means in total we would have um, a height of 15 centimeters, a back cover that's 10 centimeters, a front cover that's 10 centimeters, and a spine that is probably another centimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. I'm just I could click and drag and estimate it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my width to be 10 plus 10 plus another one meaning 21 centimeters. I could make it a bit bigger or smaller or I, or I could adjust it at some later stage. But for today, I'm just going to make it 21 centimeters wide and 15 centimeters high. And that gives us a space that is going to be big enough for our back cover, our front cover, and for our spine down the middle. For our spine down the middle, we decided it was going to be a uh, one centimeter wide spine and so what we would do here is we would add another rectangle and we're going to just make that one centimeter wide and you'll notice that it's gone back to the white so I'm, that's a bit annoying but I'm going to give it no fill and just leave that for the moment so we've got two rectangles and for our spine we want to have a few more lines down to allow allow for a nice uh, fold so I'm going to add another rectangle and maybe I'm going to make it 1.2 centimeters that makes it just a little bit different and while I'm at it I'm going to make another rectangle and I'll make it 1.2 uh, let's see, one point, actually no, I'll make it naught point, naught point eight centimetres. Uh, so if I do that, we've got three rectangles, they all look fairly similar. Now, that one, they, I think they, they are all, have no fill, so that's good. Now, here's a, Here's a nice thing to be able to do with these. If we select all of those, we can go up into this, uh, this panel at the top, find the align, or another way to find that, if you can't find it there, is there's a section that says align. And it has a number of options that we can easily miss, but aligning objects is what we want to do. So I want them all to be nice and symmetrical around the middle something like that and I want them to be aligned the other way so in a vertical way so we align it like that and that gives us a pretty good start now while we're in this mode we basically set up what our what our book will look like we can spend a lot of time decorating this one this will be our front cover we might do some decoration on the back cover we might write up the spine there might be various things like that that we do, but we're going to keep this fairly simple. What we're going to do though is what we're now going to uh, see that um, we have 
sort of separated them into no longer rectangles, but just a series of lines. And the way that we do that is with all of those selected, we go to the Pathfinder. And this is uh, an important tool that I, I'm just getting used to now. Uh, it's also, if you can't find that, it's also uh, visible in the Windows panel. That's where everything is when, when you can't find it. And we're specifically going, with all things selected, to the Outline uh, function. So if I click on that, it appears that nothing has changed, but it now makes it possible for us to basically uh, work with that in the way that we want to. So I'm just going to zoom in. No longer is it rectangles, it's just a series of lines. And that's important because we now, in preparation for it going onto the laser cutter, we want to turn this, this outside line here into a red line. And it has to be the right colour. To do, to do that, what we're going to need to do is we're need, going to need to go to not the Select tool because it'll have selected all of those. We need to go to the Direct Select tool. You notice that it, that it has all disappeared. I should have... I'll just uh, go back one step. Surprising things like that can happen quite a bit. Better make sure that that didn't do the... I'll make sure that that is outlined. I'll make sure that we have a stroke at the moment of one and I'll, for the moment, make it black. But we're going to have to do some work with, with colour. I just don't want it to have disappeared. We uh, now have to get the right colours. And to get the right colours, once again, we go up to the window menu. We have to go down and we have to find exactly the right colour, which is in the swatch library. It is in the default swatches and it is the RGB. Now that's a very important but difficult place to get to and the reason why it's very important is because the laser cutter only reads these three colours, no other variations, RGB red, black and RGB blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the direct select tool. We're going to select these lines here, all of those that are going to be fold lines, and they are going to be RGB blue. And soon we'll need to change the thickness of those or the stroke of those. So in fact, what I'll do now, once again, is I'll find where it says the stroke. Now, it appears at different places. It usually appears up there, and I'm confused as to why it's not there at the moment. But at the moment, it has a one point of width. The laser cutter will only accept a 0.1 width. And I press uh, Enter, Return, and you'll notice that those lines have just about disappeared. In fact, they appear to be black still because they ha I have not changed that around. I need to select them again. It appears to have a black outline with a blue fill. We need to change that around so that they are blue lines with no fill. This is a, a clumsy part of Adobe Illustrator. I find that difficult. If I find it difficult, you'll probably find that difficult as well. Now our outline around here which I think it might have seen that all as, all as one thing. It also has to be changed. It has to be changed to a line thickness, again, of 0.1. And it needs to be changed in colour. I've got my RGB colours over here now, so I'll get back to them. It needs to be changed to red. Once again, it's done the annoying thing. So I'll flip those around. Gonna hide. And you'll notice that's done it for this shape, but not for this shape and that shape. So if I had been very skillful, I would have uh, selected them all at once. And I may have to go down the bottom and select those. A series of lines. And all of those together, I want to become red. 
there's a better way to do this. There must be a better way to do this. And I look forward to someone telling me what that is. We can go back to our stroke and whoops. 0.1. And you'll notice that I've even missed a couple here. In fact, what I could do is I could actually select all, go to stroke. This would be a smarter thing to do at least. And you'll notice that no, no, no value appears because it's a variety of different values. 0.1 and return. And that should now mean that everything is the right value. Having said that, you'll see how difficult it is to see. And I'm going to do something a bit silly and select all. Go back and make it thicker and make that the very last thing that I do, change the stroke size. But what you can see now is a red outline that when we change it back to a stroke thickness of 0.1, it will be able to be cut out on the laser cutter. And these three blue lines on either side will be able to be a, um, a score line which can be folded.